We the real Jews, we the real Jews, we the real Jews, boy, who are you? Chapter 24, verse 6, and ye shall hear, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and we shall hear wars and rumors of war. That's biblical. That's in the scriptures, right? So uh, finish reading that. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. You see that? World War III, okay? Uh, uh, um, nations against other nations, right? All this stuff must come to pass. Finish reading that. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. You see that? That's not the, we're in the end times right now, but that's not going to be the end. The, the, the wars and all of that stuff. And the crazy thing is because when, when World War III takes place, everybody going to go crazy. That's going to create hell. All hell is going to break loose. But the prophets, we're going to be up here. We're going to be preaching the word. We're not afraid of that. Because we already know that the Bible prophesies against that. Right? So, we have to take heed to this knowledge. Just like I said earlier, when you go to these Catholic churches and these Christian churches, they're not going to teach you what the Bible says. They're not going to give you the true word of the Most High God. They out there just, you know, deceiving the people. You got pastors out in Ghana, right? Giving uh, uh, um, sexual um, um, uh, organ organism uh, lessons in the churches. You see that? That is that is all, that's straight wicked right there. They got orgasms in the churches. Orgasm lessons and all of that. You see that? You're not going to find that when you come to our churches. Right? To our schools and all of that. That's right. But you got people out there, they, these pastors, they wicked as hell. Okay? I seen it on Instagram. It was a, a, another pastor, right? He was riding a dang horse inside the church. Look at the stuff. Yeah, we need to analyze these things. We're in 2020 right now. And you got pastors riding around in a church, in a church with, uh, with a horse. A lot of people thought that was Kanye West. I don't think that was Kanye West. But that's just to show you our people. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see that? So um, let's go to uh, the first Maccabees. We're gonna start off with uh, first Maccabees chapter one. Let's go, let's do uh, verse 11 through 15. Right? So we have to understand we are, we've been deceived from the child all the way up to an adult. We've been deceived by the, the by the schools, by the churches, by our parents. You see that? We don't even know, you know, what's the truth anymore. Right? But check this out. Yeah, read that. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel weak men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Now, if you read in this... And First Maccabees, right? This is going into during the time when um, Alexander the uh, the uh, uh, the Great he got put to death, right? And then you have Ant Ant Antiochus he took over the reign of Alexander, right? So he was in he was he was taking over rulership of the Greeks, and you have a lot of uh, um, um read that part again. In those days, went there out of Israel with kings. Wicked men, right? Men that don't follow the most high laws and commandments, right? Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. So you have these wicked Israelites, right? Persuaded all of Israel saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. You see that? Why do they do that? Because they doubted the most high, right? They gave up on the law, statutes, and commandments. They chose Caesar, right, over Christ. Right? That are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this is that this is their feeling right here. They said since we uh, departed from you know um, Esau, right, and Caesar and all that, we had much sorrow. Right? It's been all hell for us. See, they're forgetting about the most high. So so basically they're trying to say that their lives will be good. Right? If they're under the hands of their oppressor. That's pretty much what it is. Right, finish reading? So this device pleased them well. 
Then certain other people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. So forward, forward meaning contrary, right? So these wicked people, they were doing contrary works according to the law, statutes, and commandments. So they said, uh, read that part again. Then certain other people were so forward therein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So this is how they felt about the, the law, statutes, and commandments. They're like, man, we're not worried about that. We're going to go to the, to the king, right? which gave them a license to sin, okay? And, 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 and they're, gonna, they're gonna do the, uh, the ordinances after the heathen. Now, what are the ordinances that the scriptures is talking about? These, uh, these unbiblical holidays, right? That are, a, a lot of our people celebrate. That has nothing to do with the Bible. Matter of fact, uh, grab one of those pictures right there. We're gonna get a, a, an example of what in the, uh, one of the ordinances that a lot of our people partake in. Get the last one, the last page, yeah. Right, so I'm gonna I'm read that. Right, so if we take a look at this, um, uh, th this is a notice right here. This was a public notice, right? And I'm gonna read it. It says, the observation of Christmas having been deemed a sacrilege the exchanging of gifts, because that's what takes place in Christmas, right? Are people exchanging gifts and all of that, right? They have their dinner and everything, right? And it says, and greetings, dressing in fine clothing, feasting, and similar satanical practices are hereby forbidden. Look at the key word, satanical. So back in that time period, right, in the 1600s, Christmas was considered a satanical practice. That's, right. that's why they for, that, that's why it was forbidden. But they done away with that law and all that. They done away with this notice. And they just, oh, just let the people continue celebrating it. You see that? It says, are hereby forbidden with the offender liable to a fine of five shillings. So now on top of that, you were our people. People were subjected to a fine for celebrating Christmas. Okay, and this was a public notice in 1659 of the ban of celebrating Christmas in Massachusetts Bay Colony. Right? Yeah, that's all I want. Yeah. So we have to look. The Bible even tells us this. We have holy days that we need to celebrate and partake in. Right, we just got through celebrating the holy day, which was the new moon. Okay, so we've been deceived. We've been deceived, everything. We need to come back to our, our laws, our commandments, and our identity. Because this book will give us good success. Okay, so that's the thing. Let's get uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and, and verse 15. So Christmas... Fourth of July, New Year's, right? New Year's don't even take place. That that, that date is all wrong. New Year's. How how the New Year is going to start in a time of winter? That is the wrong season. New Year takes place in the spring. Okay, green ears, everything you know, fresh, starting new, new beginnings. You got Christmas like. How in the world a new year gonna start in the winter? Shalom, brother. Uh, chapter three, verse 15. Okay. Yeah, let's read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse 15. That which has been is now. The scripture say that which has been is now, right? What happened back in the day in the past is taking place now, right? And that which is to be has already been. That which is to be has already been, right? And God requires that which is past. The Most High God requires the past. Because you have society, right? And, you know, uh, white supremacy. They tell us, oh, you guys need to forget about slavery and all of that. I'm, I'm so tired of that. You guys need to forget uh, um, your past. Right. Forget, forgive and forget. 
Okay, so they tell us to never forget 9-11. They tell us to never forget the Titanic. Right, but when it comes to slavery, oh, oh, y'all you, you can forget about that. That was in the past. Okay, that was my ancestors. I didn't do that to you guys. A lot of these Edomites and these Caucasians, they say that kind of stuff. That's right. Slavery was in the past. Those are my ancestors. I'm good. I'm innocent. But this is how they deceive the people. This is how they deceive the people. They tell us, oh, never forget 9-11. Never forget the Titanic. Never forget the Jewish Holocaust. Right. But when it comes to slavery, oh, y'all can forget about that. Okay, read that again. That which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and God required that which is past. So we can't forget the past, all of those hateful, wicked things that they've done to our people. Not only us, the African Americans, but the Hispanics, the, 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 um, the, the Latinos, the Native American Indians. This land was stolen from them. They, got, they, got, uh, they went through slavery as well. Not only the African Americans, the scripture even talks about that. Yeah, let's go there real quick. Hold that. Let's get uh, Jeremiah uh, 50 and 33. We are, we, are, we are related. Blacks, African Americans, Hispanics, Latinos. Why do you think y'all see us in the same? Why do you think we're in the same neighborhoods, in the ghetto neighborhoods? The white men, they know exactly what they're doing. So we have, to, we have to learn to love each other because we're in this together. The so-called African Americans, right? We are the, the, uh, the children of Judah. And you have the, the Native Americans, they are the Northern Kingdom. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 3. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall... Verse 33. My bad. It's a lot. Verse 33. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. So the children of Israel, that will be the northern kingdom. And he has the, uh, um, the uh, children of Judah, which is the southern kingdom, right? We were oppressed together. That's what you see in these ghetto neighborhoods. Right? When you go to Compton, South Central, watch. Who do you see struggling in that area? The so-called blacks and the Hispanics. The blacks and Latinos, we're the ones, and look, they teach, look, this is, uh, um, um, this is what they abide to. This is their slogan, to divide and conquer. This is how they take over any nation. Oh, we don't want the, the, the blacks and Latinos to come together, so let's divide them so we can conquer them, to take over. That's, that's exactly what they do. Okay, uh, finish reading that. And all that took them captives, held them fast they refused to let them go they refused to let us go okay we need a passport to leave this country try coming back without a passport you will not come in right and that's crazy because this land originally belongs to the native american indians okay so how are they consider illegal immigrants why are they getting deported on the land that belongs to them. And you have Donald Trump, he wants to build a wall, right? So he can, you know, keep all the, uh, the, the indigenous people away from here. That's right. And it's crazy because I saw, um, it, was, it, it was this uh, uh, a Latino brother, he said, oh yeah, I helped build the wall, but with me on the inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna be outside, he's gonna be inside while he's building the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go back to Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. <laughs> so we got to remember our past. That's because right. our past is everything. What we've been through, all the slavery, all the, the sufferings, that's going to that's gonna pay off. All we have to do is come back to these law, statutes, and commandments and endure to the end. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 15. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and God requires 
that which is past. So there is nothing new under the sun. Everything that happens back in the day already is already taking place right now. And the Most High, He requires the past. Okay, so what happened to us in the past? Segregation. We can't forget about that. Segregation was legal at a point in time. Owning slaves was legal at a point in time. We can't forget about that. Okay. Also, what, what uh, um, another thing that the so-called African Americans experienced back in the day, right? What's called the uh, the Negro Battle Royale, right? And basically, what that was was, is you know they got little uh, um they got black children, right? And they blindfold these children, and these children were placed in a ring, right? It would be like multiple children, and they would beat each other. They would they would beat each other nearly to death, and 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 pretty much the last uh, child standing will win will be the winner, will win, you know, um, some pittance of rewards and all of that. So this is what they did to us. This is how they felt about us. We're pretty much entertainers to them. Okay? And Jack, uh, Jack Johnson, he was the uh, um, heavyweight championship, the uh, uh, boxing uh, champion. He came out of that. He came out of the, the, the Negro Battle ro uh, uh, Royale. So we can't forget about these things. Okay, we are still slaves today. I don't care who you are. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care if you're a celebrity, an athlete, or anything. An artist, an a, a, a actor. We're still slaves today. Because that's all these oppress. That's all these um our 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 how our oppressors feel about us. We're only entertainers when it comes to them. So that's why you see a lot of our people shucking and jiving and you know acting like a coon for the white man so that they could be accepted. Okay? Let's get our Isaiah 14 and 21. You got a lot of our people acting like coons and all of that, being a sellout. Okay, you look at um uh uh what's his name? Uh all these pastors, you know, Creflo Dollar, you got um uh uh, uh Jesse Jackson. Right, Al Sharpton, those people, they're not really, they're not uh, 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 here for the people. They don't really have a voice for the people. They're not leading the people in a way of righteousness. They're leading the people astray. Okay, uh, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So this is a judgment that the Most High is telling to these these, uh, um, these other nations to their children because all of the things that they did to us how they gonna pay for it the ancestors they can't pay for it because they're gone they're not they're no longer here so it passed down to their seed their judgment has been passed down to their seed line their children so they're gonna have to face the consequences that their forefathers did bring it out huh? okay finish reading that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of nor fill the face of the world with cities verse 22 for i will rise up against them says the lord of hosts and cut off from babylon the name and cut off from babylon the name babylon that's modern day america today this is modern day babylon bring it out right? how what is babylon meaning confusion America is filled with all different sorts of confusion. Like what, huh? You got man trying to be a woman. You got woman turning into a man. You got LGBTQ. That's all confusion right there. Right. Bring it out. Okay. You see that? And uh, I read this article, right? Church of Sweden. Okay. They replaced the artwork of Adam and Eve right to a gay couple. Adam and Steve. You got... Okay, if you read the scriptures in the book of Genesis, you will see, you will see that the Most High God created man, which his name uh, turned out to be Adam, and his help me, which, which is Eve. Okay, but you know, Church of Sweden, that's, you know, uh, the lineage of Esau, these, these, these um, Edomites, these Caucasians, how wicked they are, they're going to replace the artwork from uh, uh, male and female to male and male. Okay, God created... Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. That's right. 
That's confusion right there. You see that? So I'm telling you, the only way you're going to find truth is by seeking Israelites, God's chosen people, the children of Israel. You got a question? You got a question? How you doing? You got a question, sister? No, I know about you. I know. I Okay. Right. Yes, we are the chosen ones. We are the chosen ones. Right. 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 Today is the Sabbath. That's, that's beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. A lot of our people, a lot of our, our brothers and sisters is waking up, coming back to the truth. Okay? Because first and foremost, we need to we need to find out uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Christ, his real name. Because Jesus, right, the letter J came out in the, in the 1600s. Right, right, right. So... Uh, the letter J came out in the 1600s. So how can his name be Jesus? That's just a transliteration in English. But his true name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh. You see that? And, and she also said that today was the Sabbath day. Today, today is the Sabbath day. That's right. The Sabbath day right. takes place from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Not Sunday. Like I said earlier, a lot of these churches, they teaching the people that Sunday is the Sabbath day. What is the first day? We need to ask ourselves, what is the first day of the week? Sunday will be the first day of the week. The calendar will tell you that. Look at the calendar. So if Sunday is the first day of the week, what would be the seventh day of the week? That would be Saturday. You see that? And if you're checking history, right? Because we got historical proof that the Sabbath took place on a Saturday. But you had uh, Emperor Constantine, right? He made the, the first Sunday keeping law. Okay, when he came to power in 313 AD. It's all transliteration. Okay. You had Constantine, he switched the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. He was, and, and that Sunday, that's just the worshiping of the sun. He was a pagan god. And he, they worshiped the sun. All those were, were pagan. Okay, so we need to come back to that. We need to, we need to celebrate the Sabbath on the correct day and not Sunday. So um, go back to uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 22. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 22. For I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, says the Lord. So most high, he gonna cut out Babylon. He gonna destroy Babylon. That's right. How, oh, how wicked America is. You see that? Because yeah. Yeah. As, as time going on in the future, LGBTQ, they gonna have the, they gonna have so much rights. If you even say anything to a, a homosexual or a lesbian, you gonna have to face, you gonna have to face a lot of consequences. Because they're they're being put on a, on a higher pedestal, right? And recently, you have uh, um, the rapper, right? YG he apologizes to the LGBTQ community. I don't know why, but um, uh, Kaylani, right? She was a queer, right? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, she's a queer, right? Right, and queer. If you if you look at the definition of that word, meaning strange. So, YG. Well, yeah, I, well, what was her baby daddy, you know? See, he was a faggot. You see, only, only in America you, you find this kind of stuff. That's right. So... Hey, it's kind of weird. I'm glad you said that because our people will be quick to apologize to homosexual faggots. But he didn't apologize to all of the, the, the gang bangers, his own brothers he beat up, his own brothers he shot to kill. You know what I'm saying? He ain't apologize for none of that. But he apologized to some facts. Don't get don't got nothing to do with us. Right, that, and, and, and that, that's the thing, that's a curse right there. That's a curse because, you know, YG, he's being, you know, gang affiliated, 
right? And and, and, and all of the, the hateful things that was done to our own people, right? He didn't really apologize to that. But when it comes to LGBTQ and homosexuality and all that, he apologized to them. And that's crazy because YG, he goes out with, um, with Kehlani. So by, in, in this time and age, uh, 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 if, if you look at the, uh, the carnal aspect, the woman runs the relationship. I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys, the woman is in control of the relationship now. In a carnal aspect, in a worldly aspect. Because well, well, look, you have Kehlani, she, was a, she is a queer, right? So she must have talked into YG, you know, uh, uh, persuaded him to apologize to the LGBT. Because YG, he didn't give a reason. He just straight up apologized. What's you see that? Yeah, but what are you going to do for his people? You see that? Our people, we so quick to take up for these other nations, we forget about our own people. Look it out. Okay? Our people, blacks, Hispanics, we are, we are to reunite. Okay? The, the, the gang, we need to stop the gang violence. That's right. Like I said earlier, World War III is, 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 is coming into fruition. So we need to prepare ourselves because when it's when sugar honey iced tea hits the fan, everybody gonna go crazy and nobody ain't gonna be able to uh, um, um to survive. The only people that's gonna survive is those who keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. So if you out here tripping and, and, and out here banging and all that, okay, you ain't gonna make it in these last days. Okay, so we need to come back to that. Tell them they need to join the army of the Most High. Right. Our people, we need to join the armor of the Most High. Because He is our ultimate protection. He is our ultimate shield. Okay? And also, um, we got Dwayne Wade, right? Another thing that, that, uh, 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 that, that surfaced around the media and social media. Yeah, Dwayne Wade, he referred his 12-year-old son as his she in the interview. And, and who, does, uh, who does Dwayne Wade goes out with? He, he's married to Gabrielle Union. You see that? And I saw a picture of them. He had uh, Dwayne Wade, he was wearing some, some Daisy Do, some short shorts. His shorts was shorter than his wife. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's how, see, this is, this is what confusion. Bring it out, huh? This is confusion right now. Teach. You have uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the, the child, right? He's 12 years old, given the okay from his parents to transform, transform himself from a boy into a girl. And nobody can say anything about it. Okay? So uh, let's get um, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Because we're going to see the judgment with that. A lot of our people, you know, being homosexuals, a lot of our sisters being lesbians, right? Being dykes and all of that. We're going to see the judgment that the Most High have for that because we got to repent from that. We got to repent from that. Um, uh, yeah, read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. It is an abomination. It is an abomination for a man to sleep with a man, a woman to sleep with a mo uh, with a woman. It is an abomination, meaning a disgusting act. The most high, you have no pleasure in that. How in the, how in the heck are you gonna be fruitful and multiply? How in the, how in the world are you gonna produce with same-sex marriage? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Right, uh, was it all that? Um, Reba verse 23 Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too It is confusion It is confusion right there, bestiality You got a lot of these uh, um, Caucasian women Right, sleeping with dogs and all different types of animals and all of that That's right I don't understand, why, why are people, blacks and, his, and Hispanics why are we so interested in these in these white girls, man? 
We got to turn ourselves from that. The Most High, He doesn't want us to marry these other nations. That's right. But that's how people are. Ooh, that white girl, she's freaky, she naughty. Ooh, I, 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 want, I, want, a, I want a freaky girl. That's Snow Bunny. Yeah, that's Snow Bunny. <laughs> Man, that white girl is Satan in the flesh, man. Bring it out, huh? We got to stay away from that. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, so, man, a lot of our sisters, why we, you know, they be into that kind of stuff. Liking other women and all of that. Why? Because they're inspired by these celebrity dykes. You got celebrity dykes out here, right? Young M.A., young Ma, right? She a celebrity dyke. You got Queen Latifah. She's a celebrity um, uh, lesbian. You got Janelle Monae, right? And all that, there. And, and, and also, that, that a, a lot of these women who claim themselves as a feminist, that's all lesbianism right there. That's white women's empowerment. Okay, that's, that's, the, that's the whole liberation uh, movement for these, these white women. Oh, I'm a feminist, because I'm pretty sure um, um, uh, uh, back in the day, a lot of y'all feminists, a lot of y'all women, y'all voted for Hillary Clinton. Y'all wanted her to be a president. Y'all wanted a woman to, to run office. And the Most High, he's not going to allow that. That's the thing. A lot of these women, they want to take a, 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 a man's role. They want to be placed in a man's position. That's right. But the scriptures say for a woman, she ought to be subjected to her husband. That's true order. Nowadays, you got women running the relationship right now. You got the woman telling the man what to do. You got the woman having the man bowing down and all that to her. It's supposed to be the opposite. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. We're going to get the true order information. We're going to get death says the Lord. That's right. You got a lot of these men, you got these women, oh, man. you got a lot of these men turning into women, <laughs> acting all feminist and all of that. Where, where are these real men at? Come on, man. Let's get that real quick. First Corinthians. Um, let me see. Chapter 11 and verse 3. Let's read that. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. That's right. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the what? Is the man. The head of the woman is the man. That's right. Hey, 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 don't, 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 don't feel ashamed because we got a head too. Our head is Christ. That's right. And the head of Christ is the most high God. That's right. Right, read that from the top. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So woman, be not shameful, being subjected unto, unto your man. Because that's, you know, society teaches the opposite. The woman has more privileges than the man. That's right. But the, uh, but the woman is supposed to be sub subjected unto a man. Okay, let's get uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 25. We're going to read verse 25 through 28. It's all love. We don't, have, we don't have no hate to our women. We respect our women and, and, and Hispanic queens. It's all love. We all have a certain role to play. Negative. Okay, read that. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because you got a lot of these homosexuals and these lesbians in these churches, right? And they're not being corrected by, they, by these pastors. What did the pastor tell them? Oh, it's okay. You can come in how, you know, however um, you are. Come to the church, how you know, as you are. God, uh, God will accept you. Where is that in the Bible? Where, where can you prove in, a, in the scriptures that God said he'll accept you? It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a transgender, if you're a lesbian, okay? 
He will accept you. You can't find that nowhere in the Bible. Right, read. Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Because that's what these that's what these people are doing. Right? All these homosexuals and lesbians, they serving the creature more than the creator. Yeah, let's get uh 1 Corinthians uh 6. 1 Corinthians um 6 and 6 and 9. Yeah, cause that, that's a good point. The Most High, he don't want no effeminate man. You, that, you're not going to make it into the kingdom. That's right. Acting effeminate. That's right. Right? You got you got a lot of our men soft as hell. Wearing these tight old skinny jeans and all of that. That's right. We got to get we gotta get rid of that stuff, man. Feminizing our men. Okay, let's read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. So a lot of you brothers, if y'all acting effeminate and have that, uh, that, that effeminate spirit, not going to make it into the kingdom. Okay? nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Con. So we got to get our manly spirit back because the Most High he's not dealing with no, he, 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 no effeminate men. The Most High he's a man of war. Okay? And he expects his children, right? The sons of men to be men of war too. Okay? Let's go to uh, Romans 1 and uh, 20, 26. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause God, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. So because of that cause, God gave them up into vile affections. Vile meaning wicked. Wicked affections and all of that. Because you want to be a homosexual and all that? Alright. He ain't gonna deal with you. Okay? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So they changed their natural use, which is against nature. Even the nature is disgusted by that. Seeing a woman with a, with a woman and a man with a man. The nature is, is, is disgusted by that. Okay? Right, uh, let's get, um, read, uh, yeah, read 32. Verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Yep. So that act, those those things, those um um those acts that you guys commit, that's that's worthy of death. That's punishable by death. Okay, finish reading. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. We have a lot of our wicked brothers and sisters have pleasure in doing that. Even when we tell you that that's wrong, y'all still have pleasure in doing that. Okay, so the Most High God, he's going to put a judgment on y'all. Right? Are you guys familiar with uh, Ain't No Cancer? That's been on the, on, the, on the horizon. Ain't No Cancer. Okay. But guess what? Ain't No Cancer, that links to homosexuals. You got... Homosexuals, right? Men putting their thing into another man, uh, right? And yeah, and look, and they get sick and all of that, and they get a disease placed upon them for doing that. They get anal cancer, not knowing that's the most high God putting the judgment upon them. So a lot of our brothers, if you continue being homosexual, the most high God gonna put you out of death. Now what happened? Y'all gotta repent from that. My brother, uh, he's, he's playing a CEO, right? Read verse 26. Read verse 26 again. Verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto a vow of faith. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Which is against nature. Which is against nature. 
Uh, right? So a lot of our women, a lot, a lot of our, our sisters being lesbians. Huh? Huh? Right? Do you hear what I'm saying? Being a you feminist. We take it hard. Okay? Here's a motherfucker that's inspired by these celebrities. You know what Especially, uh, what's her name? Bro, Amber Rose. Oh, she's not even a sister. She's an Edomite. She's a Caucasian. Look, look, look. 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 Look, and them youngsters come in thinking they're hard. She is not part of us. You know what? You want some cigarettes? Okay. Come a lot of my sister. You gonna be his? You gonna be his woman at that point? Basically, you gonna be his bitch. She has a uh 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 uh. Uh uh. And on gear, right? Which cause? And they come in there sagging. And what do you see? That's that that came from jail, right? They would sag their pants to show that they were available to other men, right? Okay. And, and we this gotta look at these signs that OG that, that Logan. women hold up. He been to the pen. He okay. telling you what's going on. He got um uh uh. It was a sign uh, 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 a sister was holding up saying, "Oh, strippers have feelings too. It's my body. I do what I want with with my body. See, a lot of our women men so rebellious. This is why human trafficking is up on a high rise right now." 200,000 women got gone missing last year. Wow. That's the most high God putting the judgment upon y'all. Y'all don't want to repent. You got the, uh, a lot of our women want to be with women. Oh, it's my body. I do what I want. You can't tell me what I, whoa, whoa. you can't tell me what to do with my body. God can. <laughs> okay, but hey, God, <laughs> You see that? Y'all don't even realize how much mercy the Most High have on y'all. So our sisters, we need to repent. Let's go to uh, verse 27. Bring it out, huh? Verse 27. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lusts one towards another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their ever which was me so men being with men right for that act the most high he go he, he y'all receive a recompense with, by doing that act that homosexual act and that's 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 a judgment of death right there okay and another thing too in regards to homosexuality did you guys know that homosexuality was considered a mental condition hmm Homosexuality was considered a mental condition. Let's get one of those, um, uh, yeah, those sheets right there. Get the, uh, the second page. This was by, no, the, um, the last one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, right there. This is by John Fryer, right? So I'm, I'm going to read it. Okay, so it says, this is from, it says, Temple Professor... And psychiatrist, right? Because that's what John Fry, he was a psychiatrist, disguised as Dr. Anonymous, spoke against the American Psychiatric Association's classification of homosexuality as a mental illness. So this was a discussion that was going on at the APA's 1972 annual meeting. So they have an annual meeting, a meeting annually, right? And it says, Fryer testimony persuaded the APA to declassify. Declassify meant it to officially declare a document that's no longer hidden. So this was con. So this was hidden right here. They, they, were, they wanted to keep this away from the public that homosexuality was a mental illness. It was a mental condition, right? And it says, um, as a, it said to declassify homosexuality as a mental disorder in 1973, ending treatments such as chemical castration, electric shock therapy, and lobotomy, and paving the way for advance in LGBT civil rights. So you have John Fryer, right? He was a psychiatrist who electrified his colleagues by telling the 1972 convention of the American Psychiatric Association in a mass. So he was in his meeting. He was hiding himself in a mass. Remember, the, uh, uh, this this person he was um, referred as Doctor Anonymous. Okay, in a mass that he was a homosexual at the time, 
homosexuality was classified as a mental illness and then he died on February the 21st. So homosexuality was considered a mental condition. It still is. And it still is right now. That's right. Because that's against nature from a, a man to be with a man and a woman to be with a woman. Okay? And on top of that, a scientific study established that there is no gay gene. So you got a lot of our people saying, oh, I was born gay. I was born a lesbian. There's no gay or lesbian gene. Only X and Y chromosomes. What the heck? Only X and Y chromosomes. Nobody's born gay. There's no gene or none of that. Okay? And on top of that, if you, if, if for people that's born gay, where's the proof? Y'all can't bring out no legitimate proof proving that you were born gay. No genes or anything. There's no evidence. No scientific proof. There's no scientific proof or evidence to show that they are gay genes and, and lesbian genes. Right? So the judgment is that y'all gonna receive a, rec a, a, a recompense. And that recompense is a sexual disease. That's why a lot of these homosexuality is experiencing gonorrhea, right? And syphilis and herpes. That's the judgment that the Most High is placing upon y'all, right? Read uh, verse 28. Um, Romans chapter one, verse uh, 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not covenant. Convenient. Convenient. Con. And that's the scariest thing for a person to, to have a reprobate mind because that person ain't gonna change. No matter how many times you try to tell that person the truth, he is not gonna change. That person is finished. Okay, so a reprobate mind is when the sinner is so hardened as to feel no remorse or misgiving conscience, uh, uh, yeah, conscience. So he has no remorse, con, no remorse. That's the scariest thing for a person to have a, a reprobate mind. Okay, let's go to uh, Isaiah um, uh, chapter 13 and 15. Thirteen and um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13 and 15, you had it. Come, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So thrust meaning kill, right? So, and it says everyone that is joined with them shall fall through, right? Shall fall by the sword. So this is what the Most High is telling us. He don't want us to join ourselves to these other nations. 